Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. My name's Raven and I am gonna be your new favorite Pilates teacher. Now, if you clicked on this video, you're probably a beginner at Pilates or looking to refresh your Pilates fundamentals. Even though this workout's only 15 minutes long, I'm gonna break down some of the fundamental Pilates exercises and positions that you're gonna need to know to advance your practice in the gym, in your Pilates class, and just feel better and move better in life. I've been teaching Pilates, bar, and fitness for almost 10 years, and I've founded the best Pilates community over on Pilates Body Hotties. So don't forget to check us out and give us a follow on Instagram, grab your mat, grab some water, and we are going to get this show on the road. For today's workout, start on all fours. We're gonna work some cat cows. So pushing into the mat, suck your upper back up to the ceiling, exhale. Now inhale in the center and then exhale. Let your belly drop. Go again. Push the mat away, scoop your belly up, 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 up. Inhale in the middle. Exhale, let it out. Two more of those. Center, push the mat away and open the area around your bra line. Feel a big old stretch. And you should also feel your core working. <laughs> Why am I already getting out of breath? Last one, exhale, hold it. Five, four, three. Really feel this scoop. Two, one and then let it go, send your hips back. Give me a big exhale. All righty, remember that we're gonna sit on our tushy for half roll back. So hands behind your knees, lift your chest up nice and high like you're super proud. Think of this as that middle position we just did. Now, like someone's pulling your bra line round your spine, push your feet against the mat like we just did our hands and hold. Give me an inhale, give me an exhale, go an inch more. And then inhale, restack. Oh, repeat. Round from right here, scoop, hollow out. My hands don't move. I go an inch further and then I melt back up. Woo. Give me a few more. The closer your feet walk in, the more advanced, but don't let your feet come off the mat. I want you to hollow out your upper body like an ice cream scooper. I feel that core working, honey. Oh boy, <laughs> two more. Pull your belly in. This is a beginner move, but it's so good for your core. Oh, I'm really feeling my upper abdominals. Last one. Pull the rib cage back. Now go a little deeper, hold it here. Extend one arm, exhale. Can you get an inch deeper? Now lift this arm. You feel the difference? Don't move that upper body. Return it, now open the arm. Don't move that upper body. Hand goes back down, wow. You should feel your obliques working. Now other side, reach it, hold it. Pull these ribs together. Now arm up. We're breathing. Center, now open that arm like you're opening a door. I am shaking like bacon. Last one. Back to center, hands come on. Sit up, all the way tall. Now this next one, you're gonna love me because we are gonna lay down. Round your back, scoop your belly, hold it. You're about halfway. Reach one arm, then the other, hold. My upper back is the furthest point. Push your feet into the mat, get an inch. Get an inch, lower back hits first in three, two. Oh, 
and one. That was not easy. Now bring your heels right underneath your knees, arms up to the ceiling, plugging shoulders, just like they were. Inhale, exhale, tip your chin to your chest, push your arms down, pull your belly into the mat, hold it. Abs should get shaky here. And lower down, repeat. Little higher and lower. Two more of those, not too bad. It's a small chest lift. It's not about how high you get. It's about how can you move your ribs, but don't let these hip bones move. One more. Peel off that shoulder blade. And lower, this time keep your arms against the mat, push the shoulders back, bring your legs to this juicy tabletop position. I want to see a 90 degree angle, hold it. Tap one toe to the water, other side. Now breathing here is important too. Don't hold your breath, make sure your neck is nice and relaxed. Ooh. Ooh. You let your toe dip down and then you think about from this deep belly, pull that knee up into your guts. <laughs> Such a good exercise for postnatal mamas. This whole workout is great for my postnatal mamas. Push the arms and chest back into the mat. One more each side. Last one, hold it. Palms come in front of the thighs. Push your thighs into your hands, your hands into your thighs like you're making a sandwich. Curl up and get that shaky, shaky, hold it. Lower down, Whew. two more just like that. You're gonna wanna give up, your core should be shaking. We're almost done with some abs. Exhale. You should get so shaky at the top. Really push these into each other. Your knees and your hands are playing keep away. Last one. Hold it. Oh, and lower <laughs> down. Pull your knees into your chest. Arms go back down where they came from. Legs go back to tabletop. Now with these kneecaps on the ceiling, we're drawing tiny circles. Real tiny. We're starting to the right. Left booty cheek lifts. Tiny circle to my right booty cheek. Up. Three more like that. You're gonna feel all of the areas of your abs work. Two more, squeeze the inner thighs. If this is your first time doing Pilates, you're definitely gonna feel some inner thighs. Woo other direction and you should definitely be feeling some core, honey. You're stirring a pot. Knee stirs. OMG. <laughs> Three more. Squeeze those inner thighs. It's like you're rocking on your butt cheeks. Two. Rock and roll on those cheeks, baby. One more. Center. Pull them in, Woo. hands behind your knees, rock yourself up. We're going to come onto our tummies. Wow, your abs should literally be on fire. <laughs> hands underneath your shoulders, legs are hip distance apart. Roll the shoulders back, zip the belly. Just push into your arms a little bit. Notice that my elbows are still bent. Can I inhale? Exhale, lower. Should feel like a juicy stretch. Repeat. Halfway. Exhale. I knit my ribs, abs together. Lower down. This is your swan stretch. One more. I pick up a marble in my belly button. I go halfway. Then the rest of the way, just your range of motion. Lower down. Now that was your swan stretch. Keep these toenails planted on the mat. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lengthen the back of your neck. Now can you hover your hands? Notice my chest and head are still lifted. Without lifting my toes, can I lift my chest and head just a little bit higher? Hold it. 
squeeze those shoulder blades together, pull these front ribs in. Can I lift just a little higher? Hold it. Now can you lift your legs? Ooh, you felt that booty turn on. Hold for three, two, lower down. Let's go again, it's real slow. Toe check, shoulder check, ab check, lift check. Lift a little higher, shine your chest forward. Lift a little higher, don't poke that belly out. Now hold those legs up, four, three, two, one. Whew. It's all about the posture, baby, one more. Roll shoulders back, zip the abs, lift the hands. Lift the ribs off the mat by zipping the belly. Lift a little higher, hold it. Now squeeze the legs, lift the toes, hold three. Even try to get your kneecaps off, y'all. Two, one. Oh, hands go down, one more. Juicy swan stretch. And then hips go back, shell stretch. Now, come on to all fours. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Remember that neutral spine we worked on last time. No arch, no round, you're just in the middle. Without shifting, extend your right leg and hold it up. Luckily, I've got a chair there to make sure mine stays lifted. <laughs> you're gonna feel your booty. Without shifting, extend that left arm, hold it. For four, for three. For two, lift it an inch higher on one, lower it down. Try the other side, no shifting in the spine, left leg, hold. Get that booty working. Right arm reaches, hold. Try to get your arm up to your ear. If you don't have any shoulder issues, hold it. Your core should really be turning on. Three, Woo, balance, two. Lower down, now let's start to flow on these. I'm gonna wiggle my ass, here we go. And left arm, right leg down. And switch, other side. These last two exercises, well really last three exercises, are all about posture. Woo. So how can you keep your upper back active where we just worked in that swan? No shanking, keep going. Let's go for eight. Make sure your leg is going straight behind your body, not to the side. I'm guilty of that. Six, get it up there. Five, this workout got some balance to it. Four, these are slow. Three, almost there. Two, almost there. Hold this next one on one. Hold. Now draw your elbow into your knee, scoop your belly up, stretch where your bra line is, and reach. Go again, exhale. Inhale. Start off slow. Now let's pick it up, here we go. Five. Six. Seven, you got it. Eight, hold it out. Lower the leg, extend it to the side, then open this left arm in a big twist. For three, two, big twist. And one, replace everything down. Your right arm should literally be on fire. Here we go, find that neutral spine. Opposite side, hold it, hold up. <laughs> Try to lift that leg a little more, make sure it's in line with your body, now go. Pull your back up, out, go slow. Elbow knee connection, out. This is also a great exercise for my postpartum mamas. Three, how slow can you go? Four. Woo. Now let's go quicker. Five, out, ten, six. Almost there. Seven, almost there. Last one. Eight, hold it for four, three, two. Lower the hand, extend that left leg to the side. Open up your right arm for three, two, 
lower. Oh, all the way down. <laughs> Get some water if you need it. Now let's finish off this workout by bringing your heels right underneath your knee. Oh, I can't talk. Bring your heels underneath your knees. Yes, that's the body part I want. <laughs> Bring your arms up to the ceiling, plug the shoulders, squeeze the inner thighs together, lift the hips, push those arms down, squeeze your butt. Lower in one piece. Go again. You're making a sandwich. So, typically we'd say this is a lower body exercise, right? But in Pilates, we want everything connected in our bridges. So notice my hips get a little higher when I push my arms down. You're feeling the back of your leg muscles just like you did in your bird dog just now. And you should be getting lots of core. Woo. Keep it going for five. Squeeze those inner thighs, baby. For six. Woo. Two more. For seven. Almost there, one more. Exhale at the top. Eight, hold it. Now go down an inch, up. Tiny, from your butt, never your back. I'm feeling a deep connection to my pelvic floor here because I'm tilting my pelvis under to my eyebrows, but I'm not pushing back. If anything, I'm using my hamstrings, my booty meat, to pull my booty meat towards my heels. Two more. Last one, hold it at the top. Now imagine you've got suspenders pulling your hips up to the ceiling. What if you snip the right suspender? That hip drops down, pull it back up, same side. Right, push, even them out at the top. Push the arms down, ooh, feels good. Five, like you're spilling water. Waist, seven. Hold it up eight, other side. Eight, seven, six, five. Ooh, my right hip doesn't move. Three, two, hold it up on one, hold it. Roll your spine down. You saw that like a string of pearls. Now reverse it, scoop, roll it up. Roll it down, bone by bone. Pilates is all, honestly, about mobilizing your spine and your hips, leading to, geez Louise, so many other benefits. It's crazy, crazy girl. One more. <laughs> I'm on TikTok too much. Hold it at the top. Hold it at the top for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two. Melt down. Oh, pull your knees into your chest. That just killed the backs of my legs, you guys. Take a big deep breath. Rock yourself up because you're finished. I hope you enjoyed that workout, especially if this is your first time doing Pilates or you're really trying to go back to basics. If you're looking for a little bit more of a challenge, don't forget to check out some of my other YouTube videos in here. They're all organized by playlist and also head to the description box for my challenges and programs. The challenges and programs that I offer are such a great value, guys. They come with habit trackers, step trackers, water trackers, and even a 30-day meal guide that comes with the Level Up 30-Day Challenge. If you've got any questions for me, don't forget, head on over again to the Pilates Body Hotties Instagram page. I love answering DMs, questions, comments there. And you can also leave questions and comments down in the comments below. Let me know what you wanna see more of, share this workout with a friend, and hopefully I will see you guys sometime soon on the mat. Bye. -bye.